are you doing? This didn't work for Pinocchio. Who? Never mind. Come here. Get in. Come on. Great. So we're getting eaten. Hey there, quirky people. The Johnny Depp defamation case just concluded, and it has proven to be a devastating loss for Miss Heard. Yes, she is supposed to get $2 million. But the jury specifically stated that she maliciously caused Depp's defamation. They didn't say that Johnny lied about anything, or he was also an accomplice in the abuse. It was just about Heard's malice tactics as the jury saw right through her lies. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? And all this could make her, quote unquote, unemployable. WB fired Johnny Depp from Fantastic Beasts right after the UK court called him a wife beater. Maybe she could be fired from Aquaman 2 as well. Close to getting punched in the face. It was revealed in the court that her role has already been reduced to just 10 minutes of screen time in the entire film. She is supposed to make her entry in the beginning and then return at the very end. Now WB could keep that 10 minute role intact if they want to release Aquaman 2 on its scheduled March 17th release date. Casting a new actress to replace her would call for reshoots, and the movie will have to be delayed for sure, even if her role amounts to just 10 minutes. So WB could keep her in and prevent backlash from Amber Heard's small support group. And then they could take a decision on whether she needs to be replaced in Aquaman 3. But the petition to remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2 has reached almost 4.5 million. So there could be an even bigger backlash if they don't remove her from the film. Also, keep in mind, Walter Hamada said that they were already considering to replace her because her chemistry with Jason Momoa was not good, according to them. Are you trying to provoke me? I'm just saying you cannot judge a place before you even see it. So, after the verdict of the latest case, Heard could get the axe and Aquaman 2 itself. Or it could happen in Aquaman 3. Either way, we'd have a new Mira if she is not killed off. So, we're here to discuss who could play the character instead of her. Check out this reel of who could replace her. Okay now, jokes apart, the first name that comes to my mind is of Amelia Clark. Ever since this petition began, people have wanted to see Amelia Clark as Mira. The creatives want good chemistry between Arthur Curry and Mira, and Amelia Clark has already proven that she has great chemistry with Mr. Momoa. So she'd be the best choice to join the DCEU. All the concept art showing her as Mira are great, and I believe we shouldn't look beyond her for the gig. But since she also has a major gig in MCU's Secret Invasion series now, the second name that WB could look at is Katherine Winnick. All Vikings fans would love to see Winnick play Mira. She is beautiful and has an empowering presence on screen. She campaigned to play Captain Marvel, but that attempt failed. She hasn't landed a major role since her arc in Vikings ended, but being cast as Mira could change that. I believe she'd really do justice to the role. Another person who would do that is Camille Vasquez. Okay, I'm kidding. This is more of an honorable mention. She literally took Amber Heard's career away by catching her in a bunch of lies. So it would only be fair if she also took her role away. Okay, jokes apart, the next choice on this list is Rebecca Ferguson. She has been doing remarkably well for herself ever since she started Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Her presence in The Greatest Showman, Reminiscence, Dune, and all the Mission Impossible movies has been much appreciated but she has yet to star in a big superhero blockbuster. Maybe Mira could be the role that brings her into the mix, but one could argue that she doesn't really need a superhero role. So we could pick someone who has already done well in the genre, and that is Karen Gillan. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 may or may not be the last time we see Nebula in the MCU. So she could jump ships and enter the DCEU as Mira instead. We've loved her in the Jumanji movies, and she held her own in Gunpowder Milkshake. So she could be as good as any of the top three choices. But another actress that people have been wanting to see as Mira is Blake Lively. Green Lantern was one of the worst superhero movies ever made, but people actually liked Blake Lively in it. So maybe the wife of Ryan Reynolds could get her own second comic book role to compete with her husband. That does it! She has had quite a few hits to prove that she could be great as Mira. But if you don't prefer her, then my sixth choice is Deborah Ann Wall. It is about time someone recognizes the amazing talent that this Daredevil star possesses. After playing Karen Page, we've barely seen her in any other big role. So maybe Mara could be that role. I really like her, and I believe she's just one more role away from A-list stardom. But my last choice for the list is Alicia Vikander. She has already starred in WB's Lara Croft reboot. So we know that she's quite good with action movie roles. That's why WB could have her in their sights to replace Amber Heard as well. Okay, that's all from us. Which of these names do you think would be great for Mira? Let us know in the comments. 
Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.